dealing with issues of their own. Their rented office space has a number of water leaks. Many of the clients are sent there by court order, so your tax money is involved. That's why Mike McKnight and Six on Your Side investigates. It's named Buoyant Family Services to help clients stay on top of mental health and substance abuse issues. So that we can give you the coping skills that you're going to need. But Counselor Chris Stanton says the staff has been forced to cope with several water leaks in their rented office space on the first floor of the center mall. We're hearing it, it's, it's just pouring down. I'm like, what is that sound? Is that rain? Staff says three times this year, water has leaked down into counseling offices, but owner Dr. Betty Cola claims it's a chronic problem. This has been going on since about 2020. We've been asking if they can get to the root cause of the problem. Photos show water, but counselors claim one leak had a clear odor. Last month, a client with severe mental issues was sitting right here for therapy when he looked over and noticed a leak coming in and then the smell. The treatment session interrupted by untreated leakage. One second we're discussing something that was rather important to him, and the next second he's getting assaulted by this foul smell. Boyan Family Services has 200 clients, with many on probation, using taxpayer-funded vouchers to pay for counseling, with some sessions affected by the leaks. So we constantly go back rescheduling clients, counseling, and it just causes a whole lot of delays. Last week, I left my card with the center landlord first management and called their attorney, but so far, no reply. So do they have an office space somewhere that we can use, or what do they want us to do? The city put building management on notice, and repairs have been underway. Chief Housing Inspector Scott Lane says he's satisfied with work being done and the response by ownership to rectify the leaks. Lane says since there's no further leaking and code violation repairs are 80 percent complete, the buoyant staff won't be ordered to vacate. But that doesn't mean they want to stay. We haven't looked for a place yet. We don't know. And right now we're in a limbo. We're just waiting. On your side at 42nd and Center, Mike McKnight, 6 News. The city says the center owners plan a complete repair of the piping. When that happens, the treatment staff and clients can't be around. So the city says the landlord and buoyant family services have attorneys working on an exit plan.